Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'm going to show how to configure HA or high availability. Okay, I'm going to configure HA or high availability using Netscalers in my test environment. So the very first thing that you need to do is you need to log into primary Netscaler, which is 192.168.25.148 in my test environment. So if you see the status here right now, HA status or high availability status, it is not configured, it is not configured. So I'm going to configure HA or high availability in my test environment. So I'm going to click on configuration. So once you click on configuration, on the left hand side, you see system here, click on system. Once you click on system, you see an option called high availability on the left hand side. Click on high availability, you see nodes here, click on nodes. So once you click nodes, you see the IP address of the Netscaler, which is 192.168.25.148 and the status is up and it is a primary Netscaler. So in my test environment, I also have a different Netscaler. This is the secondary Netscaler. Its IP address is 192.168.25.150, 192.168.25.150. So I am going to configure high availability. I am going to configure high availability in my test environment just in case let's say in the production environment if you have only one net scaler and if that net scaler goes down then users will not be able to connect to the backend servers through the net scaler okay so in this case it is really really essential to have at least two net scalers for load balancing purpose just in case if primary net scaler goes down the secondary net scaler will automatically take over to serve the traffic to the users okay it is going to help the users to connect to the backend servers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add here. Now it is asking a remote node IP address. So it is basically asking what is the IP address of the Netscaler, secondary Netscaler that you would like to pair it with the primary Netscaler. So I'm going to type the IP address, which is 192.168.25.150, 192.168.25.150. I'm going to give the password, username and password here. Okay, and I'm going to click create. I'm going to click create. So the IP address of the secondary net killer is 192.168.25.150. I'm going to click create. Okay, I did click create successfully. Now, if you see here, it says, it says unknown. The status is unknown, unknown. It says unknown down. So right now it is in the process of uh, configuring the high availability. It takes a couple of seconds. It takes a couple of seconds before the status shows as secondary or something. So let us wait for a few seconds. Okay, now let's try to refresh the screen. Let's try to refresh and see what is going to happen. I'm going to refresh. Okay, if you see now, if you see now, we have successfully configured high availability. See, this is the primary net scaler 192.168.25.150 and the secondary net scaler is 192.168.25.148. Okay, so we can do a simple test now. We can do a simple test now. So the whole idea of high availability is if, if one of the net scalers goes down in the production environment, the other net scaler should automatically take over to serve the traffic, to serve the traffic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply turn off, turn off this uh, primary net scaler. So this is the primary net scaler. I am going to simply turn off this net scaler. Okay. I, I turned off this net scaler. So immediately 148 should be in 148 will become the primary net scaler if everything is configured correctly. Okay, if everything is configured correctly, 150 should go down because we have powered it off and 148 will become primary and it will serve the traffic automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh now. I'm going to refresh. If you see now, 150 is in unknown state because, because it went down. The net scaler went down and 148 automatically took over as the primary role. It took the primary role. Now it is going to serve the traffic for the users to connect to the backend server. So there is no downtime. There is no downtime over the backend. If you have two net scalers, if one net scaler goes down, the other net scaler will automatically take over and it will serve the traffic. It, it is going to serve the traffic. Okay, whatever configuration you have on this net scaler, you should also have the same configuration on the secondary net scaler. So all both these net scalers will have the same configuration so that if one net scaler goes down, the other net scaler will automatically take over and it will serve the traffic for the end users. So the users will connect to the backend servers to use their applications or 
whatever service okay so this is how we need to configure high availability this is one of the you know important topics so so what i'm going to do is uh, you know just for an experiment so i am going to turn on the secondary net scaler i have turned it off right i am going to turn on the secondary net scaler now now let's see what is going to happen i am powering back the secondary net scaler it's powering on so let's see what is going to happen let's see what is going to happen so this process is going to take a few few minutes so see it is coming it's coming back it's powering on so the status should change automatically when the machine is back running okay so let's wait so if you want to configure high availability for the net scalers please make sure that both these net scalers should be of the same model okay they should they should be of the same model it should be of the same version to configure the ha or high availability okay let me refresh now and see what is going to happen okay it still says unknown it still says unknown 148 is the primary 150 is still unknown it says unknown so let let us wait for a few seconds and see yeah it's still coming up just please wait so like this you can do a lot of testing actually you know you can play around with the uh, net scalers if you have the test environment you can configure it and you can see the features you can test all these things okay let me refresh now the status is still unknown so it happens automatically that is the beauty of it so in the production environments if one of the net scale is goes down then uh, the failover will happen automatically in, in a few seconds in a fraction of seconds actually so the end users will not know what is actually happening if net scale goes down it simply you know users will you know in a fraction of seconds the failover will happen and the users will connect you know without any issues but the alerts will be triggered the alerts will be triggered in the in the production environment you know the citrix administrators or that the people who are managing these net scalers the alerts will be triggered and once the alerts get triggered you sh you have to you know connect you have to check why these net scalers are down and you have to troubleshoot and fix as soon as possible okay in this in this video i have intentionally turned off the uh, you know secondary net scaler but in the production environment this can you know, net scaler can go down for many reasons maybe some you know performance is uh, you know not maybe cpu utilization is high or you know memory utilization is high or it could be any issue any it could be any it could be due to some bug or whatever reason if some configuration is incorrect or if some if someone has done something uh, accidentally for any reason the net scalers can go down so so it's always good to configure high availability so let me refresh now let me refresh and see what is going to happen oh it's still coming up it's still coming up okay still says unknown okay let's wait for a few more seconds so you can connect to these net scalers not only through graphical user interface you can also connect using uh, you know uh, shell or putty which uh, i'm going to show later maybe so you can also run the commands and manage these net scalers but gui or the graphical user interface is more user friendly so that you know we can see all the options and we can uh, make any changes whenever required okay let me hit enter okay now let me click on system let me click on high availability let me click on notes okay the status is still down the status is still down okay but the machine is up the machine is up all right everyone finally uh, the machine is up it took a while to come back so if you see now 192.168.25.148 is the 
primary net scalar and the secondary net scalar is 192.168.25.150 is the secondary net scalar we have you know uh, powered it back on we have turned it back on and it is secondary net scalar so if you want to at any point in time if you want to failover you can do a failover if you want to make 148 as secondary net scalar you can just right click on it click on force failover once you click on force failover click on yes and one click ok now 148 will become the secondary net scalar and 150 will become the primary net scalar okay in a few seconds so let me refresh once let me refresh okay if you see now 150 is the primary net scalar and 148 become the 148 became the secondary net scalar so if you want to fail over you can also change the roles by using you know force failover option here okay so this is how we need to you know configure high availability and also we can do some testing in the environment okay i really hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.